Um, this is a Pacific grouper. Pacific grouper is a white, meaty fish, but it's sweet. It really doesn't have a fish flavor. Mm -hmm. It has a sweet flavor. Um, the honey adds to it with the panko breadcrumbs. And then we serve it over a cranberry almond risotto, which I know you love, because mm. the tartness of the cranberries really offset the fish. It's really good. So uh, if you couldn't get a hold of grouper, I'm assuming that just another white flaky fish would, would work in this place? Case. We actually started with salmon. Oh, really? And the salmon was fantastic with this also. So it's pretty multi-purpose when okay. it comes to fish. Um, um, the chef who came up with this, Will, um, is from South Africa, and they they use any fish they can find. So, um, yes, it'll work with anything, but with the grouper, it's real, and grouper is inexpensive, so that's nice. That is nice. <laughs> and you can get so much more fish now, you know, at the grocery store, so uh, right. look around for it. Okay, so this is panko breading, Japanese breadcrumbs. Uh, you can get them anywhere now. They've got them at festival. Uh, the grocery stores will have them, and it's a really nice, crunchy breading. Uh, I love it, you know, it's, it works really nicely with fish. And it's a little gr more coarse ground, so it's bigger, mm -hmm. so it gives you that crunch, mm -hmm. and that's what's good. And this is very simple for you at home. What's um, this? This is just honey. Just straight up honey? Just straight up honey. Okay. Um, and the nice thing with this menu is it's pretty straightforward. You just take your fish, and you're just going to dip it in honey, and I recommend gloves um, because it's, it's messy. messy. Yeah. Um, and then you just drain some of the honey off. And on the stove, we have just a pan with regular oil. Okay. Um, I call it 90-10. You can call it canola oil, just any of your Crisco, just oil. Then you put it in your panko breadcrumbs, and you give it a nice breading. Pat it on a little bit. And then we're just going to stake it and stick it in the, in the um, oil. And all we want it to do is brown. Okay. So we're going to do that a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm going to take off my gloves inside out here. That way the mess stays contained. Okay. <laughs> so I love the idea of doing just a little bit of the honey in there just to sweeten that up a little bit. And I'm going to get some tongs. Um, that cooks pretty quickly. That oil is hot. Yep. There we go. So. And all we're doing here is browning it because we are going to finish it in the oven. Okay. Um, so all you want to do is get a brown on the fish. And then once it's brown, once I will flip it over and we'll stick it in the oven and we'll let it bake for about five to seven minutes. It okay. really doesn't take that long. Um, I like fish still in the medium rare. I don't like dry fish. I like a little mm -hmm. juice with it. Mm -hmm. So um, we don't try to overcook it. If you like it, just cook it a little longer. Sure, um, sure. Well, the minute it starts getting flaky, we, we want to take it out. Okay, so we're still looking for a little bit of a crust. Yep. Well, we're waiting for this to hang out. Over here, this is our cranberry risotto, which yes. you make from scratch there, yes. uh, which is just wonderful. Um, and almonds in there, too. And cranberry almond, a um, little bit of cheese, heavy cream. Mm. It's not really good for you, but it's good. Oh. Oh, yeah, just a little bit, just a little dab. <laughs> and this is just honey and butter, right? Just honey and butter, real simple. Mix yep. those together, and that's going to go on top. Mm. All right, are we ready to give it a flip? Yep, you can give it a flip because it's going to brown in the oven a little bit more. Okay. So Oven temperature? 350. 350 is what we're looking for. Right. Now, besides fish, uh, of course, you know, steaks, some awesome other things on the menu, uh, right? We actually changed the menu for fall. Um, we have a bunch of new dishes on the menu. We added duck. Um, we added something. We, when I do my menus, I get together with everyone and I take all their ideas. So we did a tasting with 22 different items to make 10 items on the menu. Um, we start, have a thing called Earth and Turf. Now we take a portobello mushroom and we bake it off and we stuff it with ball mozzarella cheese. And then we put an eight ounce filet on that with a, bus, mm. um, a port wine gastrique. Mm. It, it's, now we're talking. Yeah. Oh, that sounds fantastic. So basically we're browning it on the yep. oil on both sides. Onto a cookie sheet it goes. It yep. goes into the oven to finish cooking, and uh, let's go get it right now. Okay. I'll show you how this gets plated up here. Set this here. Uh huh. And then right on your hot pan. Of course, goes <laughs> right on top of the risotto. Yep, right on top of the risotto. Um, and then we're just going to grab a scoop of the honey butter, and we set that right on top. And that'll melt down over. Oh, <laughs> wow. Very good. That looks fantastic. Oh, so good. Uh, and always on the menu at always the club. Always on the menu, yes. All right, I can hardly wait to dig in. What are we making next time, Jeff? Um, we are making a red scampi seafood dish. It has clams, mussels, and shrimp. I was on a recent trip to Boston. I had this for dinner. I liked it so much, I went back in the kitchen and asked the chef to show me how to make it. And I'm not a red sauce fan, but this is fantastic. Ooh, I can hardly wait. All right. Excellent. Jeff's going to stick around and make his red scampi, and we've got more recipes uh, to go with your fish fry.